Being a Mormon is hard. You have to deal with ward members, your Mormon family, and those you minister to. And don't get me started on Sunday morning council meetings. <laughs> that is why I want to make a video giving you some tools or Mormon life hacks to make your week a little easier. My first Mormon life hack is how to get extra blessings, or how I like to call them, celestial brownie points. This hack is useful to those who might be making a difficult decision and want to secure favor with God before moving forward. All you have to do is start paying 11% tithing. The scriptures say, prove me now herewith, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. If regular Mormons have the windows of heaven open unto them with 10% tithing, imagine what God can do with 11% tithing. If you continue to do this, you will soon be the Mark Zuckerberg of blessings. My second Mormon life hack is the sacrament talk hack. Ever wake up on a Sunday morning and immediately realize that you forgot you had to talk that day at church? Or are you experiencing writer's block and you're running out of time? There is an easy solution. Open your MacBook Air and just reuse one of your older talks. And don't worry about someone finding out about this because most YSA Mormons aren't really paying attention during sacrament. They're either sleeping or on their phones swiping in search of their eternal companion. <laughs> My final Mormon hack is the Sabbath day hack. Let's say it's Sunday and you get a craving for your favorite fast food restaurant. Well, you can't go since you don't want to break the Sabbath. Don't worry because there's an easy way you can have your cake and eat it too. All you have to do is wait till midnight, when it technically becomes Monday, and then go out and eat. This way you are not technically breaking the Sabbath, and you get to eat your sin-free burger without any of the guilt. Good job on outsmarting God. Bonus hack. If you are tired of eating Little Caesars at every YSA activity, all you have to do is look up the nearest Latino ward on your phone and go to their activities. Latino wards always have great food at their activities because they know that the greatest conversion tool we have in the church is tasty food. I hope that these Mormon hacks are useful to you. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch a new video every week. Talk to you later.